Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. Today we will focusing on Ansible playbook. Why we'll be focusing on Ansible playbook? Because uh, you understand that uh, here uh, we can't keep running the these commands just like this. Let's say in real time you have hundreds of module you want to run it. So we can't keep doing like this. One module, if you want to implement in hundreds of box, hundreds of machines, that is okay, but not for you know so many. So what to do? So here, this is where we are going to use playbook. So what is a playbook? So playbook uh, contains play. This is the playbook. Now you will ask me what is play? So the play is having two sections. One section is called uh, one section is called hosts. And then second sections, which we call it uh, tasks. So mind it this is yaml file so you need to also little bit spend some time <clears throat> understanding the how the yaml works and all so it's yaml file yaml learning yaml is very important nowadays uh, most of the places nowadays it's been yaml like kubernetes also yaml and Sybil also uses yaml nowadays any declarative tool you'll go you'll see yaml only so here you have host and in this host what you can specify local host where you want to run all this module okay or you can provide the group name the one which we discussed last session now in this here uh, you can provide task name so task one which will represent module one and <coughs> this parameter so this is the one this is the second this is third this is fourth so this task one task two task three is equal to say so one task means one module another task means another module another task means other module like this so any number of modules you want to run it you put it up here and put it in yaml file and then run it that's all nothing great about it are you understanding yes. hello yes yes okay so now let's see that in real so first of all i need a one playbook so because it's yaml you need to be little careful so and Sybil playbook example. So skeleton you can copy uh, from internet for getting started. For example, you see here, this is example here. And um, this is also a playbook, but it's a bigger one. this one hmm. this is good so I'm going to only copy this much now this I'll remove it because anyways we want to develop right so I'll move down so ignore that below thing so this is a skeleton what you see okay so this is the one playbook and here I told you right in a play you have a play this is the first play and each play host and task host and task now here web means it's a group name of your inventory it can be local host also okay so right now the server is not running so I am putting the local host okay so it is can be group name from inventory 
now task is something which i want you to focus task means modules and its parameters so what to do so i'll teach you one technique which you can use it so for example which module so module name is apt so ansible module apt now head to that module this is the documents and here uh, every modules you'll see examples click on it look at this here these examples free of cost you got it and all scenarios almost cover so now if you have a logic with you this just a copy paste don't use tab space one two and one two one two one two this is aligned as per the yaml specification done what is the next module copy module so copy module three examples just copy one paste it one two one two one two one two this is not needed i right now the file was to that index.html right and then location was in this one done not so great i'm doing now services service module copy this here are you understanding all of you one two one two one two one two and package name is apache 2 so done guys my playbook is done what do you think all of you yes so only the things which will irritate you while working is not the playbook because if you understand say i ask you to first do manually that is a step number one don't jump to terra uh, ansible then second thing i ask you to develop uh, ad hoc commands make it work third things once you have ad hoc commands successful then come to this part and put it in a playbook okay the only thing which will irritate you is yaml sometime you make a space issues and that will make you irritation for few days but that is good for it because you will learn and that will be beneficial for every other places also so now this playbook you want to run on the hundreds of servers you put the group name here or if you want to test it in a local host put it in the local host here okay so this is something which you can do that now this is the example so right now i don't need it i'll just delete it so good to go and now i'm going to run this in my ubuntu machine okay so here vi where is the clip inventory file okay inventory file is not needed okay so vi and um, web dot yaml enter ah i think i am not liking this i need to fix this Hmm. Though, hmm, how to fix it?
this is uh, not good let me mm, okay i think let me use putty why this shell is not doing well not sure 172 or 22 dot 240 dot 32 and it is not working 172.22.240.232 dot 240 dot 232 is happening so username should be Rajesh, Rajesh123, button. Okay, so now uh, putty is good. Uh, uh, this user home was not set for this user. That's the reason that problem yesterday it was coming for these machines. Okay, so here So here this is the file so I'm going to vi web.yaml Enter and then I'm going to copy this code and Doing it now the question is how do we run it? so the command is ansible hyphen playbook hyphen i in case of inventory but because inventory is not needed now uh, local host is already there in the web.yaml so yaml and in fact this you don't need it so here and uh, this is not needed because local host but if in case of remote host you want to run that playbook on the multiple machines you have to add it this one and this one so playbook.yaml enter that's all and now you see you are running done so this is the way you can run in the hundreds of servers so now let me put the combinations um, this one and hyphen inventory and this permissions and all you'll have to use it anyways so this is for multiple machines. This is for local host. Understood now, all of you? Yes. Yes. Okay. So now, few techniques you should check it out. How to? How to? How to? Uh, troubleshoot. So there are many options are there if you see that here hyphen H if you do uh, if you want to only uh, you know check the verbose mode so this is like you can keep increasing so here one v4 info second v4 error so if you do this is a debug mode okay sorry my bad this is for verbose verbose mode this is a reasonable to start this is for debug mode okay so this you can do that so for example for example this machine has some problem copy paste is good hyphen vvv so this is the error verbose mode this one debug mode this one so you increase that and you see the more input each and everything you can read it i know that too many uh, outputs are there slowly you get used to it because this depends on that now one more thing you should uh, also check let's say if you don't want to make a changes and you want just to want to test that uh, okay so how do you do that so there is a here this one 
check so this will not make any changes instead it will try to predict some changes that may occur so here what you can do ansible hyphen playbook web dot yaml and hyphen c here my god this is so much disturbance actually here web dot yaml and enter see so this is not running it is just faking out okay this will change this will change this will change this will change something like that right now why everything is okay no change true why because it's already done so if you if you make some changes in the desire so here do some changes then you will bring these changes And you see here one changes you you got it in the copying file so like that this is called idiom potency functionality so like this you have to write the playbook and practice it so again what is playbook so playbook we have is yaml file contains play each play you have a task section minimum and host section host represent the group or local host and task represent the module and its parameter and this is example so if you want to add more play okay so something like this you can do that see here so this is the one play but there's another play so multiple play right now not needed uh, for this and this is like this that's true now all of you yeah okay. so here this is the topic for the day uh, next sessions what we'll discuss next sessions will have how to add variables in playbook template in playbook and um, handlers in playbook conditions in playbook and loop so these are the small small topics that means you have written a coding but you have to enhance it you have to make it to the next level so how to bring this complexity will cover in tomorrow sessions any questions so far have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching